What is up guys, welcome back to another video, right? So today we've got another jackets coats video for you. This time is like a mid-range coats jackets video. So between 100 to 300 pounds, some very nice brands. Last time we did like a luxury high-end designer jackets video. I've also done the high street um, cheaper jackets video this time, mid-range, basically where I'm kind of at with my jackets. I like spending this much on a jacket usually. So we've got brands like North Face, Napa Piri, I think that's how you pronounce it, Barber, Calvin Klein, stuff like that. Let's get straight into the video, guys. If you do enjoy it, don't forget to drop it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already, and I'll link all the jackets in the description down below so you can go and have a look down there. Right, guys, so the first jacket we have got is from Barber. Kind of like a, a nice, lightweight puffer jacket. Without the hood, it's got the funnel neck. Really nice, to be fair. So this was 180 pounds, and I'm wearing a size large. I think it runs very true to sizes, to be honest. You don't really need to size up. I do tend to be a size large anyway, so this fits me absolutely bang on. It's not too tight, not too loose. It's not got the zip pockets though. It's got the fleece inside, fleece lining, which is really nice. I do like that, but no zip pockets. So it's definitely losing points on the no zip pockets, but the fit and the quality of it is mega, to be fair. Like a really good jacket, really well made. It's got a bit of cord here as well cord different material if you're just in the market for like a simple plain black lightweight puffer jacket definitely have a look at this one 180 pounds like i said it's not bad it's not bad at all i definitely know we've got better ones though in this video so let's try on the next one so next jacket we have got is from napa Piri. This one, again, I think it retails around 180 pounds, but I actually got it in the sale, 150 pounds, not bad at all. I have actually tried a very similar jacket onto this. I think it was in a charcoal color. But I went for a size extra large in this, and extra large was definitely the right choice. So they do run a little bit smaller, so maybe size up. I, am, I do tend to be a size large in most things. So just bear that in mind in terms of sizing for the jackets really nice this one i love the fit of it the quality of the materials do seem a little bit better than the barber one i'm not gonna lie it's a bit lighter weight i really like the fit quality feels mega it's a nice color as well isn't it in the navy it's got zip pockets as well that's a big big plus for me love a zip pocket you can't really be a zip pocket can you in a jacket like this i feel like you do need a zip pocket yeah this one's my favourite one so far. The third jacket we've got is from Arn Clo. So if you saw the recent Arn haul, you would have seen this jacket already. But I had to feature it, guys, in this video because the quality, I feel, for the price is second to none. Like, so, so good. Really good value for money. So these retail at £120, which is not bad at all. The quality of the jackets feel really luxurious, really well made and the fit on this is so good so nice so i wear size extra large in this again so they are quite slim fitting coats just bear that in mind i would size up um really really nice this is actually the only jacket in the video with a hood as well you can obviously take the hood off if you want if you don't want a hood but i feel like it's a nice option having the hood in case it pisses it down like it usually does in the uk <laughs> just a really nice coat so again it's got the zip pockets which is the one for me it's got the double zips as well so you, you can zip it both ways which both of the other jackets haven't had this helps um, with the longer jackets because sometimes you know when you like fully tucked in and you go to sit down the rip the jacket can rip so I always tend to pull the double zip up when I'm sitting down or something like sitting in the car do you know what I mean something like that you don't really want to break the jacket or snap it but yeah really nice fit they do it in loads of different colors as well they've got black charcoal olive khaki color and um, they did have a stone as well but i think a lot of the sizes have sold out in that one because i really wanted the stone the stone was so nice it was kind of a bit like that kind of color it was unreal i still do really like this color though Second to last jacket we've got guys is from Calvin Klein. So again, this one retails around 180 pounds. And this one is probably the lightest jacket I've tried on, you know. I went for a size large in this, but I'll tell you what, maybe could have got away with an extra large. 
it does just feel a little bit tight, you know, under the arms, around the back, around the chest. It's a really nice coat though. It's got the branding on the, the left arm. A little bit of branding there as well. A nice colour, isn't it? Like a shiny grey colour with a black panel. And it has zip pockets, which you guys know is a win for me. Yeah, if you're in the market maybe for like a super, super light jacket, that is going to keep you reasonably warm. Definitely have a look at this one. Excuse the tag. I don't know if I'm going to keep it yet. Yeah, in terms of sizing, I would definitely say maybe size up because this is a size large for me and it does feel a little bit tight. So the extra large would have been a better option for me, definitely. Just bear that in mind. I think if you are going to get a coat, you want to make sure it's the right size, don't you, at the end of the day. So hopefully this video is helping you out in terms of that. I'm six foot two and just over like 205 pounds at the minute. So um, a size large is usually my true to size. Sometimes I take an extra large if it's like slim fitting. So last but not least, we've got a jacket from North Face. This one is actually the most expensive jacket here, to be fair. So £230, and I went for a size large in this jacket. It's like supposed to be like a stretchy, lightweight down jacket. I did want to get a better colour, to be honest. Like I wanted to get like a black and grey or navy even, but it didn't really have any of my sizes because I know North Face is so popular at the minute. They literally sold out of all of them. So we've got this khaki one with the black detailing, North Face logo here. And like I said before, I've got a size large in this. North Face definitely runs quite big. So I'd definitely stay true to size or even go down a size. If you feel, if you like a medium, but sometimes you can get away with a small, I'd, I'd go with a small, do you know what I mean? That's the sort of size in North Face is it does run quite large. That's from my experience anyway. I've got extra larges in jackets recently and they've just been massive. Like you can tell the length of the sleeves on this is so much longer than some of the other ones and this is a size large. The fit is bang on, super nice fit. The quality feels nice, don't get me wrong, the quality feels really nice. Just not sure about the colour of this one. Obviously if it was just all black, that'd probably be much better. Zip pockets, really nice big deep zip pockets as well, which is a big plus for me. Yeah, the fit on this one, it's really nice, the quality, the details, spot on, but I don't know if it's like worth the 230 pounds, you know what I mean? When you can get the Arn one for 120, the quality of the Arn one seems just as good. It's one of them, isn't it? You're probably paying for the, for the name a bit more than on some of the other ones. North Face has definitely become more popular nowadays. People want it. That is going to wrap up today's video, guys. Some very nice jackets in this one. Like I said, taking you through some mid-range jackets so from 120 to 230 pounds to be honest i think my favorite one was the cheapest one you know from arm like the really nice light blue color the quality seems so good like even when you're comparing it and you're trying on different high quality jackets like from calvin klein north face the arm one didn't stand out it seemed just as good quality if not even a little bit better like it really soft a really nice fit and they've got loads of different colours and it had the hood as well, which was a bonus for me. So my favourite one was the Arn one. Um, second place, maybe Napa Piri, North Face, Calvin Klein, Barber. The Barber one wasn't bad. I just didn't really like the, the cord on it. So that would be my ratings. If you want to check out any of the jackets from this video, guys, they'll all be linked in the description like they usually are. A massive thank you for watching as always. Also, don't forget to go and check out Sulfur Clothing. We've got some very nice pieces on the website and we've also got a new jacket, which will be dropping soon on there as well. So if you're into your shiny puffers, go and have a look at that this Sunday, 5 p.m. This will be dropping. There's only very limited stock on these, so you have to make sure you're quick. But that is it from me today, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. See you later.